The cavia porcellus, or cavi, is the proper scientific name and classification of this species. Other wild guinea pigs, like the cavia aperia and cavia intermedia, are in the same family as our beloved guinea pigs. If you are interested in knowing more about them, let me know in the comment section. The name guinea pigs, as stated earlier, is also used by the general public to define a test subject. The reason behind this is simple, but it might not please some sensitive ears. It is true that guinea pigs were one of the first animals used by scientists to test different medications and observe biological similarities with the human body. I believe that it is important to recognize this scientific contribution of the furry potatoes to our well-being. This all started in the 19th century with German scientist Robert Koch. In 1882, he made significant discoveries about tuberculosis while working with guinea pigs. The results of his research have had a lasting impact on our understanding and treatment of tuberculosis. With this discovery, they were able to save many lives and stop the spread of the disease. In 1907, another team of scientific pioneers, Drs. Holst and Frolic, discovered that they were able to cure scurvy in guinea pigs with their research and discoveries. This is because, like humans, guinea pigs cannot produce their own vitamin C, unlike other animals. A fun fact about Halls and Frolic is that in 1907, their findings were published in the Journal of Hygiene. These findings were unpopular within the scientific community because the concept and word vitamin did not arrive until 1912. From their research, they realized that guinea pigs share many biological characteristics with the human body. This is why they have been used in scientific and medical research. Their contribution has enabled researchers to discover many cures and medications, leading to medical breakthroughs. Nowadays, with the advancement of computer simulation and modern biology, guinea pigs are used less frequently each year. Have you ever had to convince your friends that guinea pigs are not hamsters? Now imagine what they would say if they had no fur. In 1978, a strain of hairless guinea pigs was discovered at the Institut Armand Frappier in Canada. This hairless member of the Cavia porcellus family was named IAF, hairless. This breed, not available to the public, was used in dermatology research and, more recently, to examine behavioral development. Many years later, some IAF, hairless accidentally entered the pet trade via an unscrupulous breeder. This breeder reportedly crossed them with teddies to create the skinny pig breed. Contrary to the name, the skinny guinea pig is not completely naked. This little creature has some hair on its nose and sometimes on its toes. It carries the same genetic mutation as the IAF, hairless. Nowadays, some breeders cross the skinny guinea pig with the American guinea pig to improve longevity and health. Some skinny guinea pigs can have more hair than usual and they are commonly called werewolves. They can have additional hair on their neck and back, and an extremely hairy werewolf will have hair all the way down to their rump. Due to their genetic characteristics, those little skinny buddies have a slightly shorter lifespan of between 5 to 6 years with proper care. The skinny guinea pigs don't have a weaker immune system than other cavia porcellus. This misconception may stem from the fact that other hairless rodents have a weak immune system. Many scientific papers state that they have a thymus, a specialized organ of the immune system, just like a regular guinea pig. One principal characteristic of their metabolism is that they are warmer than regular guinea pigs. Their body temperature varies between 75 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 26 degrees Celsius as a result of strong genetics to protect the internal organs. They don't require any special diet or additional care, but they might eat more than other guinea pigs to keep their body temperature higher. Therefore, it's a misconception that they need to have their skin oiled or bathed regularly. Just like any other guinea pig, bathing too often can destabilize their natural protective coating. They are also prone to sunburn if exposed directly to sunlight and can be susceptible to ringworm. Because they lack the protection of their fur, the skinny pigs must be kept inside with access to blankets and hideouts to stay warm. The room temperature should be around 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius to keep them comfortable and happy. Like all guinea pigs, skinnies are not hypoallergenic. Allergies can arise from saliva, skin, dead skin debris, hay, litter, and proteins in the urine. If you develop an allergic reaction while in contact with guinea pigs, they might not be a suitable alternative. 
Skinny guinea pigs are curious and very active. They can come in a variety of colors, representing the multiple aspects of their adorable and unique personalities. If a guinea pig is considered an exotic animal, then the Baldwin is one of the most exotic guinea pigs of all. Allegedly, this guinea pig was born with a genetic mutation and was discovered by a breeder named Carol Miller, from San Diego in California. After many hours of research, I couldn't find any official source to fact-check this information besides some old websites that seem to have been made during the glory days of AOL a computer running Windows XP. Now get what you want most. According to internet speculation, this breed of guinea pigs was developed in the 1990s from a genetic mutation while breeding a white crested colony. One thing we know for sure is that these hairless potatoes are born with full fur coats. However, they begin to shed their hair a couple of days after being born. By their second month of age, they are nearly completely bald, except for some whiskers and a few hairs on their feet. The gene that causes hairlessness in Baldwin guinea pigs is a recessive gene. Breeding two Baldwins together will likely result in all offspring being Baldwins. Breeding a Baldwin guinea pig with a standard-haired guinea pig will result in offspring that all carry one copy of the gene, but none will express hairlessness. This subject is becoming too complex for this video. If I find more information about this, I will share it in another video. Just like the skinny guinea pig, the Baldwin is considered Acavia porcellus, and they have similar characteristics. They have a lifespan of 5 to 7 years, and they are not more prone to specific diseases than other guinea pigs. They need a regular diet made up of 80% hay. As we've known for over 100 years from doctors' halls and frolic, they don't produce their own vitamin C and need to get supplements from pellets and fresh vegetables. The Baldwin guinea pig's skin, much like human skin and that of other guinea pigs, produces sufficient oils to self-moisturize. Like other guinea pig breeds, they do not require regular baths. However, it's crucial to ensure they avoid scratches and sunburns. Similarly to skinny guinea pigs, Baldwin owners should be vigilant for ringworms given their lack of protective fur. It's fascinating to witness recent transformations and their benefits in advancing science. Over millions of years of adaptation, this small creature has evolved to help find cures and enhance our understanding of human body functions. By integrating itself into various aspects of our lives, it seems to have found a way to avoid extinction, becoming a valuable companion and scientific asset. I apologize if you find this information disturbing, but I thought it was important to mention the laboratory aspect of guinea pigs to understand why some of them don't have fur. If you have any comments or additional information about the Baldwin or the Skinny, feel free to leave a comment or contact me by email. I hope this guide has provided valuable insights into the importance of guinea pigs in our lives. If you want to know more amazing facts about guinea pigs, check out this suggested video just for you. Thank you for watching and, as usual, if you've made it this far, you're an awesome guinea pig owner.